Welcome, 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 you guys. This is Tessindra, and I have decided to do a campaign on my... One of my favorite games growing up, Gangsters 2. I think this one came out in like 2001. Um, it is a sort of gangster controlling... Simulator? Empire Simulator? You essentially have uh, your starting as a nobody and you eventually build up a, a big empire. However, there are missions and you're not in the same city every time. You sort of have to start fresh and then sort of slowly conquer or take over territory or essentially do whatever the mission tells you to do. Um, and I believe there are 20 or 21 if you count like the secret extra hush hush phase which isn't really that secret um but yeah this is a very old game getting it to work was a bit of a hassle but i've missed this game a lot and i missed the sound effects of just the menu and everything i'm just gonna go ahead and we're gonna start a fresh campaign yeah so essentially this is the guy we're playing as joey bane uh, but you can add a, a nickname. I'm just going to go with my name. So it's not much of a nickname, is it? But um, we'll be playing on hard. Mainly because... Um, it, it keeps you from being stupid. Uh, the fights in this game are not that hard. But if you play on hard, then you can still die. And if your characters die, they're gone. You can hire gangsters onto your squad... Uh, that have skills, but if they're killed, they're just gone. There's no way to get them back. I haven't seen that in a while. So, this is the state of temperance. I don't think there's any real life comparisons in the United States for this. Um, Buffalo Falls, your hometown and the scene of your father's murder. Buffalo Falls is a small town dominated by the mobster Ward Bullseye Coley, Cole? Coley and his two associates, Garfield Slugs Bellows and Boyd Razor Peterman. So... Let's just dive into this, shall we? I mean, I suppose this does kind of look like... Isn't this like Chicago and Detroit over here? And this is like into Canada? Uh, not technically, but it kind of looks like it, doesn't it? I do like these. So Act 1, Retribution, the first payback. Ward, Bullseye, Coley, and his hoods killed your father. Now it's time to get even. Kill Coley and his thugs, Garfield Slugs Bellows and Boyd Razor Peterman. You've only got 48 hours before Coley's boss, Kane Stoneface Langham, moves in a bootlegging operation, and this place will be swarming with hoods. I've had information that Coley, Bellows, and Peterman all visit separate sites during the day. Oh, damn. Coley 
visits a speakeasy across the street from his office. Well, that's going to be hard to get to. Bellows visits the brothel in the north of town. A man of culture, I believe. While Peterman can be found in the card game to the south of Buffalo Falls. That's closest to my headquarters. Buying this site will increase your income and allow you to hire muscle to protect your gangsters and businesses. I got you some help. Giacomo Lightning Landucci. He's a decent enough guy, and he will serve you well if you look after him. Concentrate on killing Coley, Bellows, and Peterman. Even with Landucci on your side, you will not be able to take Coley's sights. Drive-bys and ambushes are the most effective way to kill Coley and his thugs, and you will need to be ruthless as soon as you attack one of them. The rest will be after your blood. Oh, damn. They should add some music to this, because this is very... Maybe some ambience behind, but um, this is basically what we're going to have to do. Hit and run tactics, so if I press spacebar, yeah, spacebar pauses. Uh, remember to keep killing down to a minimum. As long as you don't kill too many of Coley's thugs, he won't become suspicious that this is little more than the occasional violence that all mobsters become accustomed to in new territory. Pick your time and actions with skill, and his hoods will be in other parts of the town when you move in for the kill. Yeah, okay. I'll keep that over. So. Yeah, and nothing has changed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is uh, all of it. So, if I remember, I have to... Um, yeah, middle mouse button for some reason. Uh, so, we just buy this. And then we have access to this labor exchange. They've got two muscles. Is that it? Yeah, but you just have access to two. So we'll just do one each. And let's just put them in the car. And we're going to be prepared to do some drive-bys. Muscle increase the protection and firepower of your gangsters. That's true. Because they have to kill the, the hoods you hire first. And then they can kill the gangster. Unless you have assassins. But that's like way, way later in the game. You should hire them whenever possible. Purchase your first business. The territory in this site includes the labor exchange. Yeah, I know. This site can supply you with muscle to support your gangsters. To recruit the muscle, select a gangster and click on... Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is just tutorial stuff. So the muscles are on the way. I'm going to go ahead and... Because um, you can park your car like this. Like, tell them exactly where you want to park. Um, so this is the enemy office. And I remember you have to go... There we go. So this is a ward. This is Razor, and this is Slugs. So, as I recall, the cops... Yeah, is being bribed by Coley. So the cops will not help me. So if, if I get shot at, the cops are not going to help. And if I shoot at Coley's guys, the cops are going to help them kill me. So there's a lot of cops on this side. You can see the blue. Oh yeah, they're even marked yellow with Coley. Um... So, what is this? This is the, uh... Yeah, they're heading for the office. Is this him? No, that's Razor. Is he in the car? There he is. Okay. So, they'll be heading for the site soon. Um... Uh, as I recall, you can... I can go after this... The dude that goes for the brothel first. Uh, and the other one goes all the way down to the car shark. But there's a lot of cops over here that I don't really want to get into a fight with. If, if I have to, I'd rather just run away from the cops. Just kill those two guys, and then we just fall back. Because as I recall, uh, the main leader just walks into the speakeasy, and uh, it's very hard to get to, because there's right next to the police station, and he's got a lot of dudes. Like, these are just hoods, but I think this is one of the... Yeah, the Razor is just standing outside defending him. So my dude is ready. So 
all we have to do in this mission is kill. We don't have to take over the territory, set up any businesses, and they fire their dudes. Wait, is it you? Oh, you idiot! You fired your muscle. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this guy out. Uh, let's just go in right now. If this guy sees us, no, we're not at war right now, are we? Okay, so go, go here. Okay, okay. So I think we can just kill him. He's not gonna be able to flee anywhere. So we'll just drive by him here. Yeah, we don't have a Tommy gun. We just have a shotgun. This is gonna take a while. <laughs> nope, never mind. Okay, one of them down. Slugs is dead. Uh, my first attack. So as I recall, you can click the newspaper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gangster slain. He dies in a, in a hail of bullets. And then this is the mob war. I think these two were, like, in the beginning. Yeah, the liquor is on its way to the town. And this is the... Our dad, our father, that was killed. And then there's rumors. Yeah, this is... Yeah. There's also, like, hitmen and specialists and gangs who you can recruit later. Check your finances. I don't know why the state map is there, but alright, it is. But essentially, one down, and the other guy is over here. Um, can we shoot him? Let, let's go down here. Let's go down there. Ideally, I would like to shoot him. The prison doesn't spawn any guards, as I recall. I'm gonna put you there? So we drive out. I'm gonna try to clap him when he's, like, roughly over here. The cops might show up, but we can just run away from them. He's walking right past them. Shoot him! He's a gangster! Uh, actually, if he goes down this... Then we can easily clap him, but if he goes down here... Where do, where do you go, buddy? He's going across. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. He's not going down. Oh, beautiful. We can we can grab him. We can grab him easy. Okay. Go, go, go. Drive by. There we go. Okay, okay. And let's just flee then. He's been killed. Uh, these guards aggroed for a second. Or they, they noticed us, but didn't do anything. I'm gonna have you guys go here, actually. One of our dudes is injured, our hoods. It's basically just color coordinate. There's green, yellow, orange, and red, and then they're dead after that. Um, so if I want to grab the dude... Actually, can I just take his car? All oh, right, I could do that. Yeah, 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 I remember this. I remember this. I remember this. We're gonna wait for him to show up here. He's gonna go back to his office. And while he's doing that, I'm gonna steal his fucking car. So if he goes on patrol after this, we can just clap him. Okay, so let's see. Uh, you go up here. That should attract their attention. Because they'll all aim with their guns at me. Uh, that's not all of them. Uh, can I go closer? Yeah. There we go. Okay. Now I can steal the car. Because they're all like... <laughs> this is a Mexican show showdown. Come on, steal the car. Beautiful, let's get out of here. I'll wait until he's properly gone. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. Back to our car. So, we got another car. We got another car, and if, when the dude has to go, he's gonna have to walk. And then we can easily grab him. Uh... Oh, they're trying to shoot... Oh, whoops. They're trying to shoot my dude. Um, but yeah, I don't know. They must have noticed that I stole the car? I didn't know the cops did that. Don't don't aggro those. No, 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 no. Okay, get, uh, get over there. Uh, I'm gonna have you... You just go back home. Uh, you do the same. Everybody just go back home. We'll wait until we get a word of Coley... Uh, is he still in the cannery? Yes. Okay. So we're just gonna have to wait for him to go on patrol. Uh, there's a lot of cops over here. Oh yeah, they're they're <laughs> mobilizing some troops here. 
Uh, you can see the cop cars are here. So they, they had a disturbance and they called out like four cars. It's a bit much. Police state? Uh, let's see. Okay, so this will heal up our wounded hood. Immediately healed. Let's just go back to the car then. I didn't take long. Uh, there's also certain buildings in this game. Like, there is the police headquarters here. You can bribe them. If you have a charmer, you can bribe certain, uh, certain people. Like, you can bribe the judge and the DA to get somebody off that's in prison. Usually that doesn't happen, because, like, you can just... Like, if the cops try to arrest you, you can just shoot them. But you can technically bribe the DA and the judge. You can bribe the mayor. You can also bribe uh, the warden. If you do that, I believe you can pay a fuckload of money and then just have the dude... If you have a dude in jail, you can just have him released immediately. But if you bribe both the DA and the judge, you can do it cheaper. And there's also, like, a museum here. I don't think this does anything. And neither does this one, fire department. I don't think they do anything. There's not even a car outside. Or like a... Yeah, this is just fluff, as I recall. Hospital. I think you can actually walk into this building and you will slowly heal. But that's about it. And there's the church. So, later on, there's gonna be um, FBI agents. And uh, essentially what the priests do does and a few others is they squeal on you and the FBI send a raid and they fuck up your illegal businesses so that is a very late mechanic but you, you have to start bribing more and more people to keep your like your neighborhood safe oh he's on patrol right now let's go get him oh if he goes if he goes left next well, he goes across where's he going let's go, grab him grab him grab him grab him grab him it's got four dudes, so we're gonna have to shoot a lot of them. But he's not in a car, so he's just fucked. I was not paying attention. And... Yes! There we go! He's dead! And then everything despawns. Their entire neighborhood just... Like, all the hoods are no longer employed, they just turn white and they ex enter the closest labor pool, as I recall. We didn't even lose a single hood. Beautiful! Yeah, we didn't really make that much money. That's a bit deceptive. We probably can't even afford the champagne. Oh. Ward Bullseye Coley lies dead. Your message of vengeance will undoubtedly travel back to Kane Stonefaced Langham and bring swift retaliation. But the first stage of your vendetta is complete. Very nice. So we got a thousand, ten thousand score. That's maximum. That's full score. So essentially, missions have uh, bonuses and primary missions. And if you do all the bonuses, um, you get full score. But I think you only do the primary mission. You get like eight thousand. And the amount of score you get determines how many stars you get at the end here. Like I have four points available, and I can increase how good they are in combat stealth is completely useless it is it it basically how hard it is for enemy gangsters to notice your presence and they always notice you if you're playing on hard it, this is the dump stat so i'm, I'm gonna recruit landucci because we kind of want to but i don't really want to give him any any points because he has no skills like down here there could be like uh, bomber, assassin, charmer. He's got nothing. So this guy is not going to stay with us for a very long time. But I am going to put these two points into me. And then we'll save these two. Right? And then we'll click OK. Boom! There we go. Mission one done. And um, I will be moving on to the second one. Um, this is probably not going to take me that long. There are 20 missions, and some of them are a bit of a doozy, but, um, yeah, I'm actually looking forward to this. As long as it looks 
you know, semi-decent because the resolution is a bit scuffed. I can't really boost up the resolution. There is not as much of a community over this game as compared to like Zeus and Pharaoh and uh, what's the other one? Caesar? Yeah, Caesar 3. Uh, but yeah, so I will see you guys in the next episode. But until then, see ya. And thanks for watching.